I've collected a lot of items from my mains collection log, but I want to start it all over again. But this time, I'll be doing this on my Iron Man, but with a twist of one log at a time. Welcome to the Extreme Collection Log. It is time that I work onto my next big collection log. As we did say, it is somewhat similar to doing the Temporos grind that we did initially. What we are going on to now is on to the winter tide. I am kind of looking forward to doing this, mainly because that I'm not just training fire making just to try and get this log completed. Along the way, I've got other things that I can do, which is great. So I'm not just stuck to doing just the winter tide alone. So I do have a couple of things I need to do before I actually start the grind. Firstly, I will need to try and get myself to level 55 making, but also I do want to just get one log slot from a certain uh, chest that we get from thieving. I'm going to be trying to get myself the Xerix amulet, and I'll be able to explain that just a little bit later on, but as of now, I need to get myself to level 64 thieving, and once that is done, then I can work on getting 55 making. But uh, just before I do all that there, like I did say that, you know, I should have uh, like you know, a free reclaim for my Tiny Temper. Unfortunately, I don't. And because of that, I am actually going to purchase him back for a mill. I would not care. So I'm just going to buy one reclaim there so I can get my Tiny Temper back. So then he can follow me and hopefully I don't die this time with him. So now I've got that out of the way, now I can work on what I want to do now. I was literally just eating a chip. Level 6 farming, great. 800 tie level, even better. Well, I've done my thieving and I'm just doing some farming along the way. And that is going to be level 10 farming. And with that there, that is level 20 farming, which means I can actually do one of the quests that gives me a lot of uh, farming XP, which is the Garden of Death. And this will be the Garden of Death quest completed for 10,000 farming XP, which then brings us to level 31 farming. Oh, that is so good, especially the strawberries, because that's going to be a lot of good farming XP for me. It's a good thing I have been doing my farm runs because that is now level 40, uh, fuck, what was it again? 40, <laughs> 40 Herb Lord done. I still have a lot of levels to go because I need to get myself to level 58. Hopefully I am able to get that after the Winter Tide grind. I should have realized I was going to get this level. This is level 34 farming, which is for this fruit from Asidius, which is to technically start type farm. But I can't start type farm until I have the Herb Lord level for the uh, herb sack here. Now, what I just want to explain is that I can't actually complete Thai farm until I actually have the 58 herb lore. Meaning that during this uh, during this time at the Winter Tog, if I actually don't get what I need to level 58, which 100% I should be able to, but if I somehow don't, that means it's going to be a longer journey for me to actually try and complete Thai Farm. So what that will mean is that I'm going to have to skip that and then just go straight to the next log until I actually get the level 58 herb floor. So hopefully it's not that bad. Now don't freak out. I know I sound a lot different. I just moved my mic a lot to a point to where I feel I'm a lot more clearer when I do talk into the mic. And this is going to be hopefully a lot better than me having it away from me. And at least I get to see all my monitors because honestly, the mic was either too far or it was just in the way. So I'm just gonna click this master farmer a couple of times and that is going to be level 60 thieving. So after I pick up these herbs here, that is going to be level 40 farming. I'm just gonna stop the farm runs there and just purely work on getting this 64 thieving. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be here for a for way too long, just keep doing farm runs. Oh, I just wanted to get this quest out of the way here because I want to try a different thieving method for me to get to level 64. So I believe that this is going to be the end of the quest and that is Children of the Sun done. So I am one pickpocket away from level 64 thieving. What I found out is that these wealthy uh, citizens are really good for XP. No matter what combat level you are, these guys are really good. And then with the house keys to steal from the homes as well, it is so good at this um, around this level here. So hopefully I'm just successful after talking this much. But pickpocket this wealthy citizen. You've got that one more time. Let's pickpocket the wealthy citizen. 
And then that is level 64 thieving. So now I can go over to the chest at the Lizardman Temple to get my uh, to get my amulet now. Okay, strangely enough, just opening this is actually pretty decent XP. Apparently it says I'm getting like 42k an hour. And that is actually going to be level 65 thieving as well. There we go. Oh, geez. Okay, so after 1,037 stone chests, I have finally got myself my talisman. So, main reason I basically got this is so I can actually get around Zaya. So now I have a better way of doing that. Luckily enough for me being here for so long, I have 309 of the Lizman Fangs. So I can actually use that all into that now. And now I actually have a better amulet. This is mainly just for me to use to do my farm runs, basically. So yeah, I basically spend so much time to almost get myself 70 thieving just to do farm runs, basically. But also as well, you know, just so I actually have a better way just to get around this whole area because I feel like there are some other things that I would need to do with it. So now we're going on to the last step before we start Winter Todd, which is to basically get ourselves to level 55 making now. So during that grind, I did get a lot of these fabrics here, so I'm just going to use these up just so I can get myself a nice level here for my crafting. And hopefully I do have enough. Yep, that is level 50 crafting. We up now. There we go, that is level 30 woodcutting. Once this willow tree does come down, hopefully it doesn't take too long. There we go. That is 40 woodcutting, and as soon as we burn that, that should be 40 fire making. Only 10 more levels to go. So once I burn these logs here, this will get me to level 50 fire making, which will now mean I can actually start the winter tide. But before I actually do start, there are a few quests I want to complete just for one main reason, which is to uh, make my way over to Fossil Island. Eventually, I'm going to have to go into that area there to do one whole collection log, as well as some miscellaneous ones along the way. But as of now, let's get these quests done, and then I can finally move on to Winter Todd. Alright, so I do believe with the cutscene over, that should be the quest completed. Yep, there we go, that's one done. And once I let the professor know where I am, which is Aquarius, that is going to be the observatory quest completed. And with that incantation completed, that is going to be Demon Slayer done. So now I should have everything I need to complete one final quest. Okay, there we go. So that is the Boyne... Boyne? The Bone Voyage quest completed. And now I can finally make my way onto Fossil Island to do what I need to do. So while I'm doing that, let's just have a look to see what exactly I need to complete at the Winter Todd to green log that. Winter Todd is our last boss we'll be fighting as a level 3. What's great about this boss is the supply rewards that will help us further progress our account. Within the collection log, there are a total of 10 items to obtain. Most of them are the outfit pieces, torch, and gloves at a 1 in 150 chance, followed by the Tome of Fire at a 1 in 1000 with the Burnt Pages at a 1 in 45, Phoenix at 1 in 5000, and the final item in the log that will most definitely take the longest being the Dragon Axe at a whopping 1 in 10,000 chance. But the real question is, who will be spooned on the Dragon Axe? So my Winter Todd plan is to of course open every crate that we obtain, as soon as we get the kill count, bang, we open it and hope that we get ourselves a new collection lock item. Before I do go straight in there, I do have this one easy clue that I did obtain during my time uh, trying to get myself ready for Winter Todd. I'm just going to open it now because I don't see a need to be opening it at the end because whilst I am stuck here, I'm not going to be getting any kind of clues along the way. So let's see if we actually do get ourselves a new log item before we even start the Winter Todd grind. And unfortunately not, but that's okay. So let's see how we go with our first couple of games. I do want to try and complete all the combat achievements as well. So let's just see how lucky we can get at the Winter Todd. So these are going to be our studying stats for doing the Winter Todd here. I'm most likely going to be getting myself 99 fire making. I am completely fine with that. I do want to hopefully get very close to 90 wood cutting if that is possible. I don't care much about the fletching levels. I do really care about those herbal levels. So all the rewards I get from here, eventually I'll be doing a lot of farm runs as well. So hopefully we aren't too lucky. If that sounds right um, for me to complete this log because I really do want to get that herbal level 
uh, which is 58 herb lore. So then I can go straight into the next log instead of skipping like a whole section of it because I don't have 58 herb lore. Alright, so this is going to be one of the first combat achievements, which is the handyman. Followed by our second one, which is to help the pyromancer. And I think after we take this out, we're going to get two more of the combat achievements. So we've got Cozy and Can We Fix It? And can we get a unique on the first uh, kill count? Absolutely not. But you know what? Herbs is definitely what I want to get from here. So as soon as this Todd goes down, this is going to be... Why is it taking so long? There we go. So it's 53 fine maker, but I don't care about that. That's 900 total level though. That is sick. As this Todd goes down, this is 5 kill count for the, not the 55 fire making, but for the combat achievement of the Winter Todd Novice. Hey, there we go. I actually, okay. Burn Pages is our first log item there. And if I just have a quick look as well, yep, there they are. If you can kind of see why I was sounding pretty shocked about that. When I did the uh, the whole editing of all the items there, I completely forgot about adding in these fucking burnt pages as well. So I'm going to have to go back and edit that now. We're coming up to the Winter Todd Champion, which is 10 kill count. So now there's no more kill count uh, combat achievements. So now I've just got the two, which is getting more than 3,000 uh, 3, points. And the other one, I believe, was to not let any of the pyromancers go down. We got one of our first milestone levels coming up here, and it is going to be level 60 fire making. And another milestone level, 10 fletching. And please tell me. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I try to go through and heal all the pyromancer, and that's leaving no one behind. So the only thing I need to do left is just get the 3,000 plus points. So there we go. It's gone down. That is Y Fletch completed. So now I have done all of the combat achievements for the Winter Todd. So now I just need to hope to get all the items that I need. Nice milestone level coming up. 65 fire making. Now that is level 20 fletching. I kind of missed the level. That is level 50 fire making. Once this game is done, this is going to be level 70 fire making. Still yet to get a pyromancer piece and still not a single one. And one more Bruma root and that is 30 fletching. And once we burn the kindling there, that is 75 fire making. We are still waiting to get any one of the four uh, pyro pieces. Well, actually anything for the log. It's just the burnt pages. Hey, there we go. Finally, something new. Got the Bruma Torch, so now I actually don't have to use the Tinder Box anymore. And what's kind of cool about the Bruma Torch as well, they did update it, so I can actually swap it around. So now it's an off hand, and it is also, well, the main hand as well. So if I get another one, I can wear them both my hands. God damn, I wasn't paying attention. 40 fletching done. So while I'm not completing the collection logs, like as of now, you know, we're not really doing Winter Tide at this point, mainly because when I'm not at home, um, I'm just doing the farm runs on this account, and I completely forgot there was one item that I would indefinitely get uh, while I am actually doing my farm runs, which is part of the passive log, which is the Hespori Seed. So I actually do have this now, which is great. Killing Hispori is all passive anyway, so as long as I can keep collecting these, then I'll be able to get the collection log done for Hispori itself. There we go. Yes! First Pyro piece, we've got the Pyromancer Garb. Only three more of the pieces to go, and on 73 as, as well. <laughs> Just a quick farm run before bed, and from this compost bin, that's going to get me level 50 farming. So I'm just doing a quick farm run here because the game is about to be updated. Now, if we do recall from the last video, um, you would have saw that I had a whole ignore list of just bots who were at Temporos with me. And thanks to one of the updates within the game settings, um, if you go into all settings here, there's an option to where if the account gets banned, it then gets taken off your ignore list. And there's a plugin that tells you how many bots have been banned when it was uh, when you next log in basically i am now down to the last two these two have somehow survived this one went through a name change and now does not have that little symbol this one still is hanging around so those two are literally the only bots that are left 
from me putting in the um, the report. And I just removed all the ones who just got lucky with the Temporos pet. So hopefully um, those guys actually don't get banned or anything like that. But honestly, seeing this happen is actually very good. Now, once these two are gone, that's going to make me so happy. Like 51, uh, 51 farming. Or at least one more item before I get to 100. Yeah, baby. There we go. Pyromancer Hood. So now I just got the legs and the boots to go, and then that's full pyromancer done. So that is 100 kill count done at the Winter Todd. Fortunately, no item there. And what's kind of cool is that I started at level 55 making. I am now 79, and one fletching to 45. Like, you do get a ton of XP from this. And I'm pretty sure I said this before. I'm not too sure. I don't care if I go really dry here, the supplies are so good for this account. As soon as we throw this next Bruma Kingling in, that is level 80 fire making, and that just looks so sick. Any level that is level 80 is just perfect. Nice. Oh my god, you're fucking kidding me. Okay, 49 fletching, but have a look in the total level right there. One thousand total level i i worst thing is i knew i was so close at it as well and i did nothing about it and i'm trying to extend this clip to see if i might get myself a collection log item maybe ah damn it but uh, sweet one thousand total level done on the extreme log <laughs> i was not gonna miss this level that is 50 fletching i was like literally so close to almost not recording that as soon as i get to the door i'm just gonna fucking spam click it go 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 Yes! <laughs> Somehow the spam clicking actually worked. 144 kill count, Pyromancer, right bottom. So now it is just the boots left for the set. And one more Kingling. That is level 85 fire making. Hey, this is just a fun random clip here because I just met this guy randomly from us just doing Winter Todd consistently here. Now, if I just scroll up just a little bit, right? He's already got the Dragon Axe, right? He's a hardcore group Iron Man as well. And if I look at his kill count, he's only at 207. Anything he's actually missing is the boots. This dude is so much more luckier than any extreme collection logger I actually know at this point. Hey, there we go. Uh, first pair of warm gloves. Now I just need two more. And then I I, uh, I think it's like torstal seeds that you get. Uh, when you max out like three gloves, but that's sick. It's not the boots, but it's something. Oh, give me the 1k, man. Or a second Bruma Torch. That is, uh, it's a dupe, but it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure it actually is with the Bruma Torches to where it's the Torstal Seeds. Again, if I'm wrong, you'll see it on the screen anyway. But what's great now is that I actually have two of them, which means I can now dual wield <laughs> the Torstal Seeds. <laughs> That's actually sick. I love that. So here I am just chilling out at the farming guild because when I go to work, I think I already explained this before, but we'll say just once more, just in case I have forgotten completely. I go to work, I just sit here and then just do the contracts and that. And thankfully, it's going to be very close to uh, 61 farming for me to get the snake grass. All I have to do is just garden pie myself up. And because of that, I now have 50 herb lore. Okay, cool. Third Bruma Torch. So now with that there in mind, I should be able to get the external rewards, which is going to be Magic Seeds now, actually. I think it was. Bro, my memory is absolutely like mash at this point. I don't know why, but I'm pretty certain, again, it's me being stupid, it's going to be Magic Seeds now. So that's going to be very good once I get to level 75 uh, farming. Spam, click. Bro, I don't know why the spam click actually worked. That is full pyromancer done. I actually I actually have everything uh, for the outfit. So, the only things that's left are the... <sighs> shit, it's just the annoying ones. Pet, tome, and that damn dragon axe, man. Ah, oh, this is going to be absolute torture. So, once this... Kill, uh, once this kill count is completed, that is now 200 in total, and we do not get anything new. And with those daily farm runs while I'm at work, and then near the end of the night, that is level 60 farming. 
So what I've actually planned to do is every 50 kill count, um, I actually want to try and throw in a solo, mainly because more solos done means I get a slightly higher chance of me getting the pet. Uh, so this is only the first one. They were at, uh, what were we at? We're at 211 kill count, which means I still got like three more to go, actually. So I'm pretty sure I have to drop everything that is in my inventory. And let's see if we do get lucky at our first solo. Here we go. Nothing at all. Wow. So at the moment, I don't have 65 farming as of yet. What I have to do is actually use the garden pie to then boost myself to then get myself the median contracts. The only thing is that as well, is that once I actually eat this, this is the last garden pie I will ever actually have to get into this area. Because as soon as I have a look into this yew tree here, that is going to be level 65 farming. And the only thing I'm kind of hoping is that she's not going to ask me to plant a yew tree for this one here. So I just want to make sure. No, okay, we're safe. All right, third ever solo. Let's open our supply crate, please, something. <laughs> Excuse me? You're going to give me a double warm gloves drop. All right, well, I've got three pairs of warm gloves and I've got three Bruma torches now. So now I can just keep getting a whole bunch of torstal seeds and a whole bunch of magic seeds now. So as soon as we burn this, this is going to be level 90 fire making. Only nine more levels to go before we max this skill. All right, why does that happen every time? Ah, uh, here we go. The dupes have started now. We got our second pyromancer garb. Now I was thinking, do we go through and just exchange it with this guy here? I'm actually not. I'm gonna try and hold on to all these here. I'm pretty sure one of them uh, is actually needed for an elite step. So I'm honestly just gonna hold on to every single pyro garb um, and any of the pyro pieces until I actually complete this log. So what I've chosen to do as my plan here, you can see I've actually stacked up 10 supply crates. Now I'm not just going to be um, collecting, you know, all these crates until like I hit a level or anything like that. At this point, I'm better off just collecting them all in like one hit um, and then leave the Winter Todd and then just see if I am able to get any of the good stuff. Hopefully I get one of the log items at least. Uh, so. With that being said, I am still doing the every uh, 49 and 99 kill count I get. I will be doing a solo regardless. So this will just, you know, for me, it's kind of nice doing a mass opening rather than just, you know, you do the kill count, you open it, you bank, and then repeat. This just makes it a bit more fun. The only thing I have to remember is just to um, find out what was the kill count I actually technically you know, got the item. Because I love tracking this kind of thing. I got a whole Excel sheet all for this. So hopefully I just get lucky with any of this. So I will put this into the video, unfortunately. So while I'm here, you know, you might as well uh, like and subscribe for, you know, like and sub for the channel. And, you know, as usual, nothing new. On to our next fire making level, level 91. We're gonna get ourselves a sick uh, fletching level here, level 60 fletching. Thanks to this brazier going out, this is going to get us level 92 fire making. We are now halfway from the 99. Do 60. All right, pyromancer hood, that's a duplicate. I've decided just to come over here, you know, just a nice little cinematic shot. Just looks wow. I might actually have to use this area for the thumbnail, honestly. But I'm not really here just to do that. I'm here to chop down this uh, dead tree because that is going to get me to level 60 wood cutting. I can now cut my own yew trees now. And if you guys are wondering what this little section is, well, I added a plugin that's called Playtime, I think it is. So this actually lets you know what my actual um, time played is on the account. And I'm literally just less than an, um, what is that? Less than an hour away from getting to 50 days played on this account. Ah. Oh, what? Oh my God. No way. No way. Oh, bro. <laughs> I got the phoenix early! No way! I just did that! I actually got the phoenix early! I'm actually- I am so happy about that! <laughs> yeah, hey, and guess what? You finally get to actually hear me because I actually have my mic settings, like, actually fixed. Holy shit, I just got the fucking phoenix pet! It, it, the only thing I love about this, right? This is- this is the only thing I love, right? 
You know Temporis, our lovely Temporis took us 20,000 fucking permits for us to get that. This here only took us 277 kill count just to get the Phoenix pet. That is our second pet. The only thing I'm missing now is this damn book and the... Oh, and this Dragon Axe, man. Oh my god. I am... I, I don't know. I don't know. I just need to end this clip. End the clip! So as soon as this game is completed for the kill count, that is level 93 fire making. Oh, I wasn't recording. Are you kidding, bro? Oh my god, whatever. Okay, that is 300 kill count, and unfortunately we did not get anything from the uh, the solo run that we just did. A pyromancer robe, the second one, nice. Anything more? Fortunately not. So I have literally been away for four days, not on my PC at all. I've just been sitting in the farming guild this entire time. And I do think that if once I look at this, that is going to be level 70 farming. Like, I, I've had a footy trip from Friday. It is now Monday in September. Like, I honestly wanted to go home as soon as possible, but I was basically stuck on trip. Um, but 70 farming, and this has been a hell of a grind. And I have the farming guild to thank, because I've literally just been sitting there the entire football trip that I've had. So the Todd is going to take out the brazier. So once I light this up, we're going to get ourselves level 95 fire making. So I just want to be completely done with doing herblore and farming at this point. Mainly because I want to just dedicate my time just purely doing Winter Todd. So I'm actually going to go through and use up my snake grass and my Aventoe here. Just to make this fishing potion. And as I go through all five of these, this is finally going to get me to level 58 Herblor. So now Herblor is completely done. No more farm runs, none of that. I am purely sticking to the Winter Todd now. So unfortunately all the clips now are actually going to be purely Winter Todd. But it is what it is. It's just two more items to go for the Tome and the Dragon Axe, and we are completely done with the Winter Todd. So once we fletch this root, that is 65 fletching. So just one more kindling to go, and that is 96 fire making. All right, see you later, Todd. That is 400 kill count now. Let's see what we can get here from our lovely solo. Nothing new. So as soon as the winter tide goes down, we're gonna get ourselves a lovely level. Oh my, oh, damn it, I missed that on the construction. Oh well, that's 97 fire making. Two more to go. Anything unique in? There we go. That's the second set of the Pyromancer set. Did we get anything else as well? No, we do not. Okay, so this game is about over here, so I'm just going to make my way down to the door, and once it actually goes down, that is level 98 fire making, just one more level to go. Will we get anything unique from these crates here? It doesn't seem to be any good. Oh, that sucks. So with this brazier being broken, I'm just going to go ahead and fix it. And that is going to get me level 70 construction. 1 to 70 pretty much from just doing mini games and play Temporis and doing this as well. That's pretty good, honestly. I almost missed this. Just click the root. Boom. 65 woodcutting. There we go. There is 500 kill count at the Winter Todd. Still missing Tome, still missing Axe. Can we get it off 500? We got absolutely nothing, jeez. So it is that time again to where we get ourselves a 99. The first one all the way at Temporos for our 99 fishing. And now we're gonna get our second 99, which is of course fire making. I was kind of hoping fire making would have been my first 99, but we did get very, very unlucky at Temporos. But that's still that's still fine because now we're stuck here, and the dragon axe is definitely gonna be the worst thing for us to try and collect here. So I do have one of the magic logs that I have gotten from the Winter Todd. So here we go. Let's count it down. Three. Thank you to the only trails people for coming in to watch me get this 99. And the big boys at the back, you know, everyone should know here. Make sure you do sub to him as well. Here we go. Let's light her up. Boom. 
Fucking 99 fire making on this damn account, man. The second one for us to complete, which now means I can go and get myself the uh, go and get myself the fire making cape now. And thank you to all the boys in the Oz Unity for letting me know in here too. So much love to everyone who has come down. All right, so with that all done, let me talk to the guy. Can I buy a skill cape of fire making? Yep, that is more than enough. That is fucking perfect. Let's see, here we go. Lovely, lovely 99 fire making cape on the account. The arrogant stream. <laughs> How goody. Uh, I'm just happy to honestly have this, man, because now I don't have to wear my graceful cape while doing this. I actually have like a full fire making outfit, which is actually kind of sick. So thanks to the boys who came in from Only Trails. Thank you to my boy Hector Kebab, who is the, well, low member in the clan chat, but that's completely fine. But also a huge shout out to the boys from Oz Unity for giving me the lovely grats there for getting the 99. So let's make our way back over to Winter Todd and hopefully get the last two items that we need. There we go. Third pyro. What is that? Third pyro garb. Hey, watch this now. Ready? Here we go. Boom. Gonna. There we go. Pyromantle hood. Thank you very much. I'm pretty impressed with this account, honestly, because from level 1 to level 70 fletching just purely off the Winter Todd, it's it's just great. Like, to be fair, I don't mind of me getting dry at the moment, because if I can actually just, I don't know, somehow get 90 wood cutting and maybe 99 fletching as well, that works out perfectly for this account in the future, so I don't have to stress too much about it. Come on, Brazer, just take it down. There we go. We are now at 600 kill count at the Winter Todd. Let's not waste any time. And of course, I get nothing. All right, 13 are open, 689. And hey, Pyromancer Robe, nice. I generally hate missing clips, honestly, but that is our 700 kill count, meaning that this is another solo. Tome or. What is it? Tome or Axe, please. Any one of them. Nah, that's my third Pyromancer uh, set though. As of today, it is the 9th of October and Winter Todd has finally got its new update. What they have decided to do now is add in a warmth meter to where instead of using your hit points, you go by your warmth instead. So now every account does not need to stress so much about having 10 hit points the entire time. You still have the options of using your food or you can use the potions that you can create within the Winter Tide that you use to also heal the Pyromancers as well. What this will mean for me is that as I just want to try and collect as many and then go through and opening them, since I kind of did this already with Temporos, I'm going to be doing the same now with the Winter Tide. What they have decided to do within the collection log is now add in the rewards claim. What's kind of cool is that it actually has remembered the amount of rewards I have claimed so far. So we're at 2,455. The only thing I'm hoping for is that we don't go through what we did with Temporos. So by now, I should technically have a Tome of Fire, but we don't. I'm still completely fine with that. Also as well, we still need to try and get ourselves a Dragon Axe, and we are close to one fourth of the way of hopefully getting ourselves a Dragon Axe. So with the reward card, they have added two options. The first one is just to search it, so you go through one report, uh, reward point at a time. Or you can go for the big search and go five at a time. Since this has now been added in, I'm going to be doing one at a time. In terms of kill count, I'm going to try and do 100 kill count and then go through and search the reward card. What I may try to do in the future as well is kind of do what I did with Temporos, which is getting maybe a certain amount of permits and then go through and going through the reward card. So since now I do have the reward card, you are going to be seeing the permits that it did take me to actually get these rewards. So I've got a lot of fun to do with the Excel spreadsheet that I currently have. I'm not going to change it to what it is, but I'm not going to go into much detail on that. So hopefully with this change, who knows, our RNG might have reset and we're going to get ourselves the, uh, well, hopefully the Dragon Axe next. But you can see I wasn't doing a solo there, but that is going to be 800 kill count. What's kind of cool about the solos is that there is no cap anymore, which means that you can get as many permits as you can. Sorry, as many points as you can. As many as you can within the six hour uh, logout. So if you want to stack up a ton of points um, and then get an all in one kill count, 
go ahead. Honestly, I would say it's just better just to do the masses, really, I believe. Um, but that's just me personally at this point. So I will be no longer doing the solos at Winter Todd. I'm just going to be doing the masses here because having a look at, you know, the amount of rewards that you get to what you were able to get within Temporos, it kind of doesn't add up a little bit, but you know, you can't really change anything with the job table. They better not change a Dragon Axe to be like a 1 in 5,000 or something like that. Just leave it as it is, please. And let's see if we can get ourselves to a 1,000 kill count eventually. And what I will be doing, uh, just quickly, is I will be collecting as many permits. Damn it, I keep fucking saying permits. As many rewards as possible and do one big opening. And then hopefully we get what we need. We are coming up to a nice little level here. We are about to get ourselves level 70 woodcutting. If I look to my right hand side, everything here is now at level 70 and above. So, <laughs> I would say it looks pretty clean. Now, I just have to try to get them to 80, then 90, and then 99. As we chop this root, that is 75 Fletchen. And with this winter tod down, that is 900 kill count, only 100 to go. And I am definitely just going to go through and open these rewards because I want to see if I can just get the last two items at this point. I should realize this earlier. I literally just got myself 25 million fire making XP. Uh, still a lot of experience to go. Right, I'm just going to get a burn one more kindling and that is going to be 1000 kill count at the winter tod. Looks like we have accumulated 718 rewards. And we're going to go through and open up every single one of them in hopes that we get the Tome or we get the Dragon Axe. I'm really hoping for the Axe first and then maybe the Tome. So here we are at the reward cart because supply crates are basically no more. So the plan is we're going to go through and open and, and all up. We're at 1,000 kill count with 2,455 rewards claimed at the moment. We currently have 718 that we are owed. We're not doing the big search because I want to know specifically at uh, what reward amount I actually did get the Tome and the Dragon Axe. So hopefully this does track this as well and not through the supply crates for Winter Todd, but let's see how we go. Good luck to us and let's hope we can get something good. You know how fucked that would actually be? Oh, there we go. That is a lovely Pyromancer Garp. And I'm gonna have to track it like this because Runelight has yet to um, track the rewards when you go for the reward crate here. Sorry, the reward cart. Because supply crates are no more. Yeah, I'm kinda gonna keep complaining about that because I actually enjoy doing the supply crates. Oh, no! Wait, hang on! Hang on a minute! Did I just get a second fucking Phoenix? You're kidding! You're, you're actually kidding. I just got myself a dupe Phoenix. I'm going to have to look back to see how many rewards I claim for that because that's my second fucking Phoenix. Are you fucking kidding? Oh my god. Is this, hang on. So, is this Jagger's way of saying like, hey, we couldn't get you the tiny temper to begin with. But you know what? We should give you a second Phoenix pet. Fuck you, man. That should have been my mains one. Ross, how do you think I feel, man? Oh, I got it! <laughs> yes! Yes, I am the luckiest motherfucker alive! You have no idea how lucky that is! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, are you kidding? No way! No way! <laughs> oh, how... Fucking yes! How fucking yes! You know, the best thing is, I fucking said it as well. I'm gonna get myself the dragon axe, and then I'm gonna get myself the tome. I am the luckiest motherfucker right now. Let's go! And there's another pyromancer hood. What was that? Uh, I think it was just like one off from that one there. Oh, that's still fucking cool, man. <laughs> see the book come on let's see the book not nah, it's just another set of the pyromancer garbs oh wait no where is it okay there we go i need to make sure i do that i want to know when exactly i get this hey there we go that's the full pyromancer set again that's our fourth set done not too bad actually 
Uh, another Pyromancer Garb. Trade's so fucking good. Ah, uh, another Pyromancer Garb. Oh well. You guys, we might be able to complete like five sets. Yeah, Wrinkle, you're right. <laughs> it is. Oh, come on, dude. Literally, like two pulls apart, you give me. Uh, you know what? Come on, boots. Give me the boots now. It'll be boots. Then it'll be. Bo yeah, told you. I told you. <laughs> oh, God. I knew it. I knew it was going to be the boots next. All right, so I just completed five sets of Pyromancer. So can we make six? Three. Oh, it's not going to happen. Two. No, I don't think it's happening. Last one. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. I mean, it was it was bound to happen, but honestly, I don't mind that opening at all. Mainly because of our first Dragon Axe and our second Phoenix Pet. We've also completed five sets completely of the Pyromancer as well. And our reward pool is at 3,173. It's just a 1 in 1,000 chance of getting this Tome of Fire. I had three chances to get it. Let's just go back into the Winter Todd. I'm going to loot this every 100 kill count. So good luck to me. In hopes that I actually do get this, man. Because I want to get out of here already. <laughs> a Porygarb. Oh, <laughs> that's a sick... Ah, oh, dang it. Another Pyro Hood. I mean, to be fair, I'm doing Thai Farm. Ah, uh, there's another Pyro piece. Just the boots to go for our six set. Hey, there we go. Alright, so that's our six set of the Pyromancer there completed. Can we possibly get, I don't know, another three sets before the time? Please just don't do that. Please don't. <laughs> oh, yes! We're done! We're done! We're done! We're done! Winter Todd's done! It's done! It's done, boys. I fucking got it. I fucking done it. I am done with the Winter Todd. I am free from these, oh, from these skilling bosses. No more. No more. I actually got it done. What is our final tally? So 1,300 kill count, 3,803 rewards claimed for us to complete and green log the Winter Todd, man. So that's Temporos done. And now the Winter Todd. The worst thing is, is that I can't even show all the rewards I did get from the Winter Todd. Because unfortunately still, Runelight has not updated it yet. But that's fine. Because I am officially done with the Winter Todd. It is no more. Haha! <laughs> Your boy has done it! So since we have the Winter Todd completed, I did try to see if I could fill up these books. But it has dropped my bank value dramatically. So if I do put them back in, I have officially hit 200 mil bank value on this account alone. And that's a big thank you to Temporos and a lot of help from the Winter Tod as well. Okay, there we go. So I have now looted everything from the reward cart. There is literally nothing left. I did get myself another full set of the Pyromancer outfit. So I'm kind of okay with that. At least I have an even amount. So I got like seven there in total. So, with Winter Todd out of the way, I literally have one log which is just taking my time and just getting it done. And then the next two, I would say one of them does require a bit of RNG, but one of them is honestly what I would see as our final collection log to complete for Season 1 for us to level up our combat. And at the end of it all, from us completing the Winter Todd, these are our final stats there. So it's now time for me to move on to the next log, which should be pretty easy to complete. So hopefully it doesn't really take me too long. So let's see how we can go with that.